Hi guys, it's Ariana. I hope you're doing well. I am kicking off a week of outfits. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm wearing realistically. If you haven't seen my winter capsule wardrobe yet, like the rundown of all the pieces that I included, I'll leave a link for you in the description and up here somewhere so you can go and watch that if you would like to see all the details of it. But that's where I'm gonna be pulling my outfits from. I have tweaked a little bit of it since then and I am kind of like wanting to change things up a little bit. So I'm gonna talk about that probably at the end of the video. So if you're interested, you can stay till then and I'll discuss about it a little bit. But I'm just gonna jump in to day one. It's Monday. Like I said, it's gonna be very realistic. And for context, I am a stay-at-home mom. So I've got a two-year-old at home. So I need outfits that are gonna be functional, but also cute because I wanna look and feel better and more put together even if I'm just gonna be at home. And then of course I do have days where I'm going out and about. So this is kind of like my office and filming space. So it is incredibly messy right now because I'm kind of in the middle of like filming a thrift with me, thrift haul, whatever. Um, so there's clothes everywhere. So I'm gonna have to deal with that today. So if you'll excuse all of that, this is my outfit for today. I decided to do a little layering moment. So I have this tank top that kind of has this like almost halter neck style on the top and then just layered on top this basic long sleeve. Super comfortable. This has probably been like my most worn so far of the, all of my capsule. And then I just wore it with my baggy jeans, just a thrifted pair of Lee jeans that are a bit like looser and intentionally bought them a little bit bigger for comfort. Like this is super comfortable if I'm just gonna be like around the house doing a lot of things, picking up my son. Comfort level is probably second to like stretchy pants, you know, so it's a similar similar kind of vibe there But it's a little bit more structured and something different than leggings I know I can get in a rut of just wearing leggings and t-shirts and then probably my favorite go-to hairstyle Is like a slicked bun like this it looks chic, but also gets it out of your face And if you haven't washed your hair in a couple of days like that's where it's at. Really simple with the jewelry today as well. Just a simple tag necklace because I felt like I wanted something there that is from Missouri. And then these little basic hoops are from Ana Luisa. And then since I'm not gonna leave the house most likely, I'm not gonna style it up or anything. I think if I were to kind of make this into like a full outfit, I would probably go for like a fancier or like girlier shoe, like some kind of kitten heel or pointed toe or something, especially because because the jeans are just baggy and loose, it feels a little like casual, you know? Yeah, I would definitely wear something a bit dressier on the shoe and bag front to kind of like balance it out for me, for my personal liking. Hello, so as you can tell, I did clean the office today, so we've got a bit more space and you can see a little bit better my outfit. Actually already did what I needed to do today, basically. We ran a bunch of errands. I went for kind of like a monochrome beige on beige type of look. So this is actually my midi skirt, but I pulled it up pretty high so that I can make it into a shorter skirt because I wanted to wear it with this silky top and I felt like it was too much when it was longer. And this is actually like the back. I kind of wanted like the little slit here in the front so I did turn the skirt and then I wanted the shirt to be a little bit more relaxed like I felt like when I was tucked in it felt a little bit too dressed up so I did kind of like this relaxed half tuck thing which you know it's okay um, a full like front French tuck felt a little bit too floofy around here and then fully untucked was a little bit too voluminous as well so had a bit of a dilemma this morning styling that but it is what it is we had to get out the door hence why I didn't even have a chance to like do my hair today just put it up in a little claw clip i did decide to do a little pop of color with the shoes though so these are my mary janes from vivaya in a red color accessories wise i have my little sunglasses here these are just from target i wear these constantly they're like my go-to sunglass right now and then these are another go-to of mine these are just really chunky gold hoops in kind of like a irregular organic shape those are also from target and then just basic tennis bracelet that i wear all the time didn't even feel like wearing a necklace so skipped on that and then for the bag Again, just keeping it quite casual. I feel like this does help pull the look together. I feel like it helps it look a little bit more intentional that you like partly tucked your shirt in like it looks a little bit more chill and relaxed like you're running errands. This is actually what I've been using as like a little diaper bag. It's a convertible mini backpack which I have really loved for this 
purpose. It can be a backpack, but also you can sling it across crossbody like this. And I do also have a belt on underneath that I did the little tuck into. I'm probably just gonna throw on some leggings now and keep this shirt on. Even though it's kind of like this silky looking material, it's a pretty billowy, easy, top so to wear with leggings if i end up going back out or anything i'll just keep that on probably throw my mary janes back on as well so yep that is a tuesday's look hi guys good morning i am ready to go we're gonna actually do a little like park play date today with a couple moms and their kids so that should be a lot of fun and it's gonna be beautiful weather outside so really excited about that even though i know i'm like in a winter capsule but it's not winter outside right now, and I don't know if it's ever gonna go back. I'm not wearing a jacket. I, it might be a little chilly right now, so maybe I'll bring one, I don't know. But I decided to just go for something kind of like easy, basic white t-shirt. This is kind of like a bigger oversized one. And then these are actually jeans that I decided to add to my capsule wardrobe. I had mentioned that I added a couple different things and wanted to change things around a little. These are like a two-toned straight leg one actually, and I really like them. And something about like the two-tone graphic of it kind of adds like an extra little like design detail I feel like to the outfit so even just like a basic t-shirt and jeans outfit feels a little bit cooler <laughs> in my opinion. And then I went with the same Mary Janes that I had on yesterday, the red ones from Vivaya. It feels like a very like French girl kind of outfit to me. So I kind of went with that and they're very comfortable as well. So which is perfect and what I need. And then this is just kind of like an oversized tote bag in this woven material. Got this in the most recent thrift with me if you've seen it. I thought that would be perfect to throw in all of the snacks and essentials that you need when you're out and about for a flowers. And since it is just a simple top, I did stack up some jewelry here. I like to do that like with just like a plain t-shirt. I've got on my moon necklace from Pascal James from quite a while back. And then these two necklaces, the chain and the little mama necklace, these are both from Ana Luisa as well as the hoops that I was wearing on Monday. And that is the outfit. Hi guys, a different location. I am in the bathroom so I thought I would show you what outfit of the day here and see if I can make this work. That kind of works, right? So I actually just got back from going to the store. I went and picked up a couple things that we needed for the kitchen. If you've been around here for a while, this is one of my favorite graphic t-shirts that I have. It was a thrifted one. I've worn this so many times and like have it in multiple of my capsules along with this kind of like slinky black maxi skirt. Another go-to piece for me that I've had in a lot of my capsules. And then I felt like wearing a hat today. So I've got this one on. This one I've had probably for like 10 years, honestly, like a really long time like I don't even remember when I got it but it is originally from H&M. I don't even know what this is called. This is kind of like a newsboy hat or something. I'm not sure. I did a little like side tuck situation here just to be really like relaxed and casual. And then I did a big hoop earring as well to give it a bit of like polish and dressed up feel. Went for my Nikes today, went for my kill shots. Since I had all of my stuff in this tote bag from yesterday, I just went ahead and kept that. Yeah, I like that look too. I like how slouchy it is and then the warmth from the bag as well adds to nice warmth here since i'm just wearing like all black i am gonna be home the rest of the day except for this evening i do have worship practice so i'll go to that tonight and just still wear the same thing probably but yeah that is today's outfit good morning it is a very dark and dreary day i don't know if it's actually gonna rain but it did rain a lot yesterday but i am about to head out the door because we're actually gonna go to target i think i pick up a few things from my friends like baby registry this is the outfit i decided to go with today it's a very simple casual one because i am just wearing under here this lightweight knit this is a thrifted men's one and then my leggings but i threw on my red oversized quilted jacket i feel like this is kind of like the statement piece of the outfit it kind of like makes the outfit if you will did go for boots as well since it is pretty dreary these are my like chunky moto style boot the same bag that i've been using for a couple days now i don't know about you but sometimes it's annoying to like swap things in and out of different bags even if like a different bag would be a better option for the outfit sometimes i'm like oh well just <laughs> 
this this will work it's just fine as far as jewelry goes i did a little bit of a departure for myself i actually went for silver jewelry which i normally wear gold i would say this is kind of like the only silver jewelry that i own and i'm wearing all of it <laughs> those are little like mesh knots basically these were a gift from a friend this kind of silver pendant necklace this is also a gift from my father-in-law and then this was actually my mom's the little heart with a pearl inside it's my mom's and i just like borrowed it and then basically kept it ever since so <laughs> i don't know if she even misses it but i have been wearing it sometimes so yeah that is the full outfit gonna run some errands and then the rest of the day i'll just be home and do some editing later hello happy sunday i just got back from church and i am about to have lunch but i thought i would show you my outfit while i still had everything on basically because i'm ready to like get comfy but i decided to wear my little flowy black dress today except it is quite short and so i don't know i don't want to be on stage or anything with that short of a skirt on so i did put pants on underneath these are just like some flared leggings that i have a little bit of like a dress over pants situation. I didn't really want to wear full on black tights or anything. So my little tweed jacket that I wore over the top of this, I like that it's cropped. I feel like that kind of helps break it up a little bit. And then to go with the more like classic look going on, got a little quilted bag and Antonio Milani one that I've had for quite a long time. And then my little cap toe faux Chanel type of heels. These are from Vivaya. They're actually a bit small, I've noticed. So my feet are kind of aching a little bit by this point. So just note if you wanted to get these shoes, you might want to size up half size or so because these are just in my regular size and they're kind of compressing my toes a little bit. And then I do have on also a headband. This is like a puffy pearl one and then as far as jewelry goes i have on this little heart necklace is from anna luisa little door knocker style type of earrings these are actually vintage and then i actually put on a couple rings today so i've got the croissant dome from missouri as well as this little signet one is from anna luisa most recently so yeah that is it for the full outfit i am going to get into my comfies now which is probably going to be like a sweatshirt and some leggings to be honest like that's what i'm feeling all right that's technically all for the week but since i did miss a day i figured i'd just throw this one in there for you um but i am wearing that same white t-shirt that i wore these are actually a newer purchase for me so they're actually kind of like a stretchy material pant but they're a wide leg basically feel like leggings but look a little bit more elevated like they've got like a seam going down the middle here and there is actually like a little I don't know if you can even see it. There's like a cargo pocket here as well. And it's a bit of a rib knit type of material. And then just keeping it casual, I'm wearing my Nike Kill Shots with this. And then this bag is a Skagen bag, but it is thrifted. And it's actually like a crossbody type of messenger, but I shortened the strap and made it into like a slouchy shoulder bag which I really, really like the look of. For jewelry, I've got on these chunky gold hoops. These are from Target. And then I've got my moon necklace from Pascal James. The little tag is from Missouri. And then I do have the little mama necklace here as well that is from Anna Luisa. And then I've also got some happy face socks, <laughs> even though you won't be able to see them. I thought that was fun. Pretty simple, casual. It's like 70 degrees today. So yes, yeah, speaking about these pants, that kind of segues me into where I feel like my style or my wardrobe, I want to shift it a little bit. I want to change locations here and we can talk about that. Okay, so that kind of sounds like a bit of a serious like lead up, but it's not that big of a deal. I think I just kind of been feeling like as I've been wearing my wardrobe and trying out these different capsules, if you've been around my channel that you know, like I've been doing like seasonal capsules and kind of putting together separate ones and I've been really enjoying that. However, I do feel like a lot of the capsule I end up not wearing that much which is I guess to be expected since I do work from home and I do try to get dressed but a lot of times I still end up reaching for like very comfortable functional things most of that's not like super cute I'm just tired of like resorting to like leggings and a big t-shirt whenever I want to be comfortable so I'm realizing that I'm needing a little bit of a different approach I'm really feeling like there's a gap in like clothes that are comfortable and kind of like loungy but yet still looking really cute it's a big reason why I actually ended up buying these pants because they were like a great medium between being like a super comfortable 
pant that I can just be around the house in and it's like super functional but also looks a little bit better and more elevated so I do feel like that's kind of brought me to this point of I don't want to get rid of seasonal capsules because I still really enjoy it and I feel like it's a lot of fun I get to be creative and putting these little wardrobes together but I'm thinking about doing like a loungewear capsule as well separate from my seasonal ones so that would encompass things like cute two-piece sets that are elevated but very comfortable. Obviously my leggings would still go in there, um, that way they're not taking up account in my regular capsule as well. And then I could just kind of like have a smaller number of items that are for like other outfits. So whenever I want to be a little bit more polished or if I'm going out or if I'm running errands, going to church, that kind of stuff. So that way I kind of have like two different capsules that I'm pulling from and then I don't feel like I'm just resorting to feeling really frumpy at home. That's kind of like the ditch that I'm falling into right now. So I want to like build that up. So yeah, I'm going to work on that a little bit and then I'll probably share with you the full like lounge slash home type of capsule um, whenever it's actually put together. I want to find what's going to work best for me that I'm still going to enjoy and feel creative with. And yeah, I'll share it with you as I figure it out. But just thought I would let you know that and throw that on at the end of this video since all of this has happened within the last month, I would say. And so I haven't really been able to talk about it. So yes, if you stay till this part, then you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you. Thank you for being interested. That's going to be it for me though. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.